and B, short-term credit rating to UBA, PLC. That's at par with Nigeria's um, sovereign rating. Now, look at the markets where we finished off on Friday. The stock market was really, really aggressive. We finished up uh, about a 0.28%, a bit of a softening on Friday. But the market was aggressively up in the week, 9.719 billion naira. We're holding to the 28,000 psychological index level in the week we just finished the third and one of the most active week since the new year started uh in terms of uh, volume 2.27 billion 32.6 billion and that was what we did and in 20,710 transactions the uh unlisted securities market uh slightly uh, also in the water, slightly two tenths of a percent, 572.37 reading on that index on the NEAZ uh, OTC Securities Exchange in the week, 98.88 million ordinary shares. Uh, the market cap for the NEAZ still below the 400 billion threshold, 387.34. We did just about 10 deals uh, for the week. Look at the uh, treasury bills and the FGN bonds market. Investors, uh, all, everybody looking at Central Bank of Nigeria, MPC holding rates steady this week. So outlook is that yields will trend slightly higher or at least moderate in the new week as we see do nothing on interest rate. Central Bank focusing more on inflation and um, foreign exchange that is progressing. Uh, then look at the uh, top markets. Treasury bills traded at the second window via the FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange on um, Friday. And you can see 17 billion as the most active there. In total, uh, Treasury bills 85.1 billion. That's a little bit of a uh, uh, slowdown in triple digits that we've seen in the past couple of days. At the FGN bonds window, the total transaction was just about 6.9 billion. And you can see the top four trades, 4.3. Uh, billion, mega pounds, that should be yeah, in billion, 4.3 billion naira there. In 29 deals, price high 78.65 for that paper maturing 18th of March 2036. Currency is king. So look at how the Naira performed. The local currency is still gaining. Naira has gained about 15% at the parallel market uh, since the year started. On the US dollar. But this is how the market was in summary. Look at 305.45. Uh, Naira was about half one tenth of a percent on the dollar at the interbank spot market uh, on, on Friday. Uh, Naira pound 412.73 off track about three quarters of a percent and negative 2.13 for the Naira on the euro 351.94. On the street, the Naira gained a massive 2.56 on the US dollar. At 200, 380, Naira pound, 495, up 1.01 percent, the Naira euro on change. Of course, the investors and exporters market has a flip last one, and you got a two-tenth of a percent a haircut for the Naira down by that percentage points against the dollar, 381.61. That's the window for investors who want to take back their dividend and trade other financial assets, as well as for exporters who are bringing their monies back into the economy. Okay, that's a bit of look back, so let's look forward. Chukumaya, who is the head of research at GTI Securities and is joining us live now via Skype in downtown Lagos. Good morning, Chukuma. I hope you had a very great weekend. I did both. Yes. Uh, good oh, morning. Okay. Thanks for having me. Yeah, okay, so I'm sure we are all uh, spruced up, ready uh, for the, a very busy business week. Uh, and you've seen our rundown, a bit of our calendar there, and it looks pretty heavy, isn't it? A very heavy week, both in for the financial markets. A lot of critical decisions bordering on the economy and our respective markets will be taken. So it's a fantastic week for investors to be able to take uh, proactive positions or, or look at the um, a restructuring of their portfolio based on the news that that is released. So yes, a very very critical week for the for investors. Yes, a very critical week. Uh, I'm not sure we have any earnings uh, to look at as far as equity is concerned. So what do you think will be the most important information for stock traders, for analysts, and for investors in the week? Is it going to be the MPC tomorrow? Is it going to be the first quarter look back GDP? Will there be some consideration, indicates, indication of what the second quarter GDP look like looking at first quarter? Uh, will it be the presidential policy dialogue? Will it be uh, ease of doing business, the new... I beg your pardon. The new executive orders. 
Well, they will all have bearings on the market, but I think the most important one that investors will be looking at will be the um, GDP figures. Um, it will be interesting to see how Q1 panned out, considering the fact that a lot of the uh, major variations we saw or the, um, the major stress we saw on the FX market was largely in the first quarter. So a lot of people would breathe easy um, in the second quarter, considering the fact that we've had a lot more stability um, in that space. But the first quarter is critical for investors to be able to, you know, assess what going forward for Nigeria will be like. So, yes, I think that will play a critical part in how investors will play the remainder of the week. But at the same time, I think um, the MPC decision is also important, even though I think that um, a, a lot more will be on trying to stabilize inflation and uh, and the FX market than really doing anything. So my thinking is I, I don't really think that much will change from the MPC. Uh, okay, you don't think anything will change from the MPC and you're just in line with a number of other reports we have here. Uh, Chukumayan, well, thank you very much from uh, GTI Securities. We'll have time later in the week to uh, spend some time together and get your thoughts on the markets, the economy and the news that will be on the street from Abuja and Lagos this week. This is what the next one uh, looks like on the program. Uh, after the break, we'll be talking to George Atomi, who is an, one of the directors at the Eco Distribution Company. Uh, he'll be talking to us about the latest in the Electricity industry, the NERC says there's no catchment areas for any of the discos, 11 of them, and uh, some individuals may just as well uh, buy power directly from George Atomi and his uh, company. That's something he will talk about with us uh, on the program. And of course, again, at 10.30, uh, be on the lookout for Obianuju Unsofo, who is an one of the investment analysts at Afrinvest. She's uh, raising the curtain for us today and the week, as far as the NPC is concerned, the first quarter GDP uh, the executive orders and what we expect to hear from the acting uh, president Osibajo on Wednesday, as far as these uh, executive orders are concerned, will they have impact on the market? Obianiju will be bringing us her thoughts on all of this uh, when she comes in here in the studios at 10:30 and at 10:45, 10:50. We're going to have a look at today's trading day, start flagging off the week. We'll be back in two.